A compensation scheme for members of the Windrush generation who were wrongly classified as illegal immigrants has been dubbed an absolute disaster. Campaigners in Hampshire say the 44-page application form needs legal advice to complete and the Home Office has been accused of a tick-box exercise after people in Southampton were given just four days' notice about a meeting to help with claims. Kerry Swain has the story. A gathering of the Black Heritage Southampton Association, run by Beverly Dowdell, who came from Jamaica in 1971 and worked as a nurse for 33 years. On her daughter's advice, she sorted her papers. Other men and women of the Windrush generation who couldn't prove their right to be here and were deported or denied jobs and health care have been promised compensation. But there's growing criticism about the Home Office scheme. A complex 44-page application form, a vital meeting on how to claim, taking place tomorrow, but this group given only four days' notice. It seems to me it's a tick-in-the-box exercise. Uh, they obviously need to say, we've spoken to the community, and uh, they know what they have to do, and if they don't come forward, it's all their fault. How much danger is there that people who deserve compensation are, are just not going to get it? I would say 100%. Immigration Minister Caroline Noakes has twice visited Southampton promising justice, this time not available for interview. The Home Office says the Home Secretary is committed to righting the wrongs of the Windrush generation, and the Windrush compensation scheme is a key part of that. It concludes, we have been working closely with a range of local community groups, the local authority and the venue to promote the event. But Southampton City Council told Meridian it isn't involved in Friday's meeting. It was easy to come, but it's hard to get benefit now because they're making it ever so hard. It just show that I think what the authorities think of our, our situation. Are there people? who deserve compensation, who are still lying low, if you like? Oh, absolutely. I would say there are scores and scores of people in this region who probably feel that if they give the Home Office any further information, it will not necessarily do them any favours. The Windrush compensation meeting takes place at West Ditchin Community Centre between 11.30 and 12.30 tomorrow. Kerry Swain, ITV News.